It's just so hard to get traction to get that first 100 monthly listeners, first 3,000 monthly listeners. So I wanna to explain to you guys how to let the rubber get some traction on the road. I don't know if that's the phrase. Cause once you get those first few thousand monthly listeners on Spotify, you're able to actually start to get a little bit noticed by different playlisters, by the Spotify editorial team. You're able to collaborate with other musicians more. But first, So far, so good. All right, let me share my experience with how I gained 3,000 monthly listeners on Spotify and the strategies that I think propelled me to be able to get to this point where now I have enough traction to actually collaborate with other people and to grow my following even more. So it all just boils down to two basic things. First, getting your pages in order. So this is getting your social medias in order, getting your Spotify account in order. And second, bringing people to those pages. That's all it is, it's pretty straightforward. So let me quickly go through how we get things in order. So for Spotify, what we want is to write an extensive bio, not just a line or two. We want a couple paragraphs that either tell a story about us, say something about our personality, maybe our sense of humor, um, talk about our goals and the projects that we're working on now, anything along these lines. And you want this to be long so that people actually stick around while they're listening to your music and they learn something about you. You wanna throw some photos into this section, uh, preferably current photos. They can even be photos of you doing your hobbies, not just your music, but maybe you hiking, you playing basketball, doing things that you would normally do. Kind of allows the listener to get a view into your world. You're definitely gonna wanna put your links on Spotify so that when people are listening, they can go to your Instagram and your Twitter, whatever else you put on here. And finally, you're gonna want to create playlists. So I've created two playlists. One is just dedicated to all of my music and it says, you know, this is so lush, allows listeners to just push play on that one playlist and hear all of my songs. The second one is the songs that I'm inspired by. This allows listeners to hear music that's similar to mine and then also some of mine thrown in there. Now definitely make sure that you have good titles and artwork for these playlists. Everything matters when it comes to your Spotify account and how long people are gonna stick around on it. For your social media accounts, make sure you at least have an Instagram presence. And now if you have time to work on a YouTube channel, a TikTok, these are also good ones to have, but I would say the most important is your Instagram because this is where most people will go to find out more about you as a person. I definitely feel like it can frustrate a lot of musicians and artists these days that they have to spend so much time on social media. But I would say, you know, you can either really devote yourself to it or you can at least make sure that you're maintaining your profile. So post at least three times a week and try to post a story every day, just something basic at least so that you always show listeners that you're at least active on your profile and they can get in touch with you, they can see what you're up to. In terms of the content you're posting, if it doesn't come naturally, uh, you know, you can share some of your music, behind the scenes, these things. Definitely every once in a while I'll share posts that have your music in it. So as people scroll through your profile, they can listen to your music before going to your Spotify and Apple Music. But also feel free to just post about your interests once again here. Um, people like to know just about who you are, even if it's something that's a little bit unrelated to their interests. When it comes release time and you have all your things in order, you're gonna want to run a Facebook ad campaign. This is the way to bring in new listeners more than any other way that we have right now as independent musicians in 2021. The reasons why a Facebook ad campaign is so great comes down to the fact that you can completely control your Facebook ads so you can target exactly who you want to, you can control the visuals, the sound, and you can bring in people on your own terms. Second, the people who actually swipe on your ads and go to your songs, these are the type of people that are interested enough that they're gonna listen through your whole song, they're generally gonna like the song, they're gonna add it to their playlists, 
um, and they're gonna follow you as an artist. I recommend that your ads direct people to a landing page like Toned In or Hyped It, and that landing page only has a Spotify and an Apple Music link, uh, maybe even just one of those. And then when people get to your Spotify page, you're sending them to your artist page, not to the song page. When people get to the artist page and see a follow button, they're much more likely to follow you and they're much more likely to listen to your other songs, listen to those playlists that you've put in place and stick around on your profile. When these people come and they're interested in your music, doing all these things, they're gonna start triggering the algorithm to put your music onto release radar and eventually discover weekly. Cause Spotify likes it when people stick around on their platform. They like it when you bring in people from different places on the internet. Now, why aren't playlists the best option nowadays? First of all, it's hard to get on a lot of these playlists, especially when you don't have many plays, listeners, or followers, because the curators of these playlists, they generally want to show artists that already have a track record that show that people will enjoy their music. There's like a sweet spot of people, of artists that have you know, maybe not too much of a following, but definitely have some sort of following. So if you don't have any following at all, it's very hard to get on a lot of these playlists. And more importantly, even if you do get on these playlists, oftentimes listeners aren't even actively listening to the music, it's in the background. So they're not gonna like your song, they're not gonna follow you, they're not gonna ever listen to any of your music again. Plus the Spotify algorithm will start to think that your music isn't that great if people aren't liking it and adding it to their own playlists. And so you won't get put onto the algorithmic playlists as much. And finally, we just heard how recently Spotify took down a ton of songs because these songs were on playlists that bots were playing through. And so you always run the risk that you're just gonna have bots playing your music. You're gonna get plays that don't really mean anything, that don't carry over to future plays, and that run the risk of your music getting taken down. You're gonna wanna run conversion campaigns, uh, generally targeting Instagram stories or Facebook Messenger stories, um, where you show a snippet of your music video or some other visual with different parts of your song put in there and you let the Facebook algorithm determine which of these ads are the best for sending people to your landing page and to your Spotify. Now you need to run an ad campaign for at least a month, I would say, for your release. And I think it's good to just perpetually run your ad campaign. And in the first three to seven days, you probably should spend 15 to $30 a day in order to let the Facebook algorithm learn who to target and to really boost your song in that first week so it will get on release radar for other people that are not following you. It does cost some money, but you're gonna start getting more and more plays from release radar if you do this. And those are all plays that you're not paying for. Spotify is doing the free advertising for you at that point. And then eventually you'll get on to Discover Weekly if you're fortunate enough to and you'll get onto the Spotify editorial playlist. Even if you don't get onto too many release radars or Discover Weekly, with this type of spending and these, and if you're getting around 15 cent per conversion ads, you will get up to 3,000 monthly listeners. It just takes time to put in the work. With your second release and your third release and your fourth release, it'll definitely be easier and easier to get more and more monthly listeners because you'll have these songs in your back catalog that are just constantly generating streams because they were added to playlists and because people are finding out about them other ways. All right, guys, thanks for watching this video. I appreciate uh, you guys. Make sure you at least have an Instagram. <laughs>